Good evening, everyone. I'm just going to get here for one minute, then the stage will be yours. Good evening, everyone. My name is Selçuk Şirin. I am a professor at New York University. This is a sad night because we are here to mourn the death of more than 40,000 people, as we know today, in Turkey, more than 5,000 people in Syria. As you all know, the numbers will go up. It is not something to gather and to not let it go without doing something about it. This is a deep pain we all feel, even those who are not from Turkey. I know there are a lot of people here who came to support us, both Turkish and uh, Syrian side. There is a moment for us, this is a moment for us to turn the pain into action. I want to thank the owner of this place, the founder of DROM, Serdar is somewhere here. Uh, Serdar uh, came up with this idea. He's been, working he's been working tirelessly for two weeks, very short time since the day of the earthquake. And today and tomorrow we have more than 40 artists. Some of them are on the stage today. They are all here to support the victims of earthquake in Turkey and in Syria. Today, for the most part, we are going to be hosting artists from Turkish side with some American friends and some international friends. And tomorrow we'll have more people coming uh, mostly from the Middle Eastern side. I know that for those of you who lost lives, the words mean nothing. We have to do something about it. We all have privileges because we are here in New York, in the United States. I think there is a moment, and this is a moment for us to do something for those who do not have that kind of privilege. I know Serdar started something as small, but a meaningful act, but I think we can all do something similar paralleling this act here. Thank you so much for being here throughout the night. We will have different announcements and I will be back on stage later. For now, I want to invite Şenay. Şenay Atasagun is the CEO of Turkish Philanthropic Fund, TPF. Şenay, stage is yours. Thank you. Good evening. Um, wonderful uh, to see you all tonight. Thank you so much for being with us. When we uh, first started our campaign a few hours after the earthquake, our goal was to raise a million dollars. Today we're at 10 million, thank to you. And I, I cannot express how grateful we all are at Turkish Philanthropy Funds. We're humbled by the outpouring of support we have received over the last two weeks. And um, it's, uh, please know that your efforts here is going to go really long way in helping all those that are affected by the earthquake. Since um, February 6th, I feel like I'm, I'm living in a fog and it's difficult to feel the feelings I'm having and I'm sure you guys are uh, feel the same way and being here and like talking to some of you really helped and um, That's why your presence here tonight. I'm sure for many of you like me and your willingness to give so generously Show the strength and compassion of the community in New York and uh, We as Turkish philanthropy funds and also me personally. I I really am honored and grateful to be part of such a wonderful, compassionate community. Thank you all so much. 100% of your donations tonight will go to our partners, wedded partners on the ground, doing the most important work, supporting the victims of the earthquake and helping um, rebuilding efforts. So please be uh, assured that you are really making a difference because 100% of the proceeds from tonight will go there. I want to also express my gratitude to all the talented performers who have generously donated their time and energy to make tonight possible. Thank you so much. Your music has brought us together as a community. It's also reminded us that Art and culture in times of need is important. And uh, I'm sure tonight, listening to you, you're going to also lift our spirits. So thank you all so much. Last but not least, um, Sardar Ilhan. I cannot 
see the crowd, but Sardar and Mehmet Dede, thank you for your leadership and generosity. You're not only helping us to raise funds tonight, you're helping us to heal together. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kindness and support here tonight are a testament to the compassion of New York community. And we are honored to be standing alongside you. So thank you for being here. Enjoy uh, the music. Thank you, Shanai. <laughs> we are starting. The first group we have is, uh, is uh, actually Frank London and friends. A lot of friends are here tonight. We are, we are starting with the first group, and I will be back every 15 minutes or so with the other artists. The stage is yours, guys. Thank you. Uh, instead of trying to introduce everyone, I just say we all thank you, every one of you, for organizing this in this terrible time of tragedy. But thank you, and we help that you all can help out as much as possible.
Thank you. Bill Guggenheiden, Marina Goldfosser, Eleanor Vile, uh, Mike Winograd, Matt Dario, Brian Dry, Joey Kisslinger, Dan Kerverse, Joe Exley, Ilya Schneves, and uh, Will Holzhauser. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Frank London and friends. <laughs> Grammy Award winner, as you could see. Now, I know that uh, this is a very unusual situation. We are all mourning the loss of thousands of people. We don't know what to feel. And I can see that we listen to the music, but at the same time, we have that uneasy feeling. That's part of the process we are going through. When you have trauma, the first reaction is shock, which I think we all went through. And then there's anger, right? We are all going through, some of us. And there's the negotiation part that's gonna come up in a few weeks. Then will come depression, which is the worst part. I know that a lot of you are having difficult time sleeping over the last week. I know this is not the best time to enjoy music, but we are here again to remind you that to support each other in this tragedy, tragedy to find each other. I, as the next group is preparing to come here, I want to share a personal story. I was actually a student at Boston College in 1999 when the Istanbul earthquake happened. During that period, we got together doing what we are doing now basically cooperation, finding other people who feel the same way about the country that you are from. Those bonds, when you meet with people in time of crisis to do something about that crisis are very meaningful. So I want to make sure that you spend some time with other people here. If you came here and live here with the same person without speaking to another person, that means we are not doing a good job. So in between the, the, the music sets, please Say hi to the person next to you because we are all here to support the earthquake victims. So we are here to also get to know each other. Why is that important? If you know more people here, that means you can do more there. Cooperation is the key word, okay? I am a teacher, so I'm gonna lecture in between. And the more they take time, I can give you more, more, more of my lecture notes, okay. They are here. So Ismet Ertaş is, uh, uh, grew up surrounded by traditional Turkish and Middle Eastern music. He lived in different parts of Anatolia and was influenced by local culture and music. He started playing the mandolin first and the classical guitar. He's been teaching classical guitar for a long time and contributed to the training of hundreds of musicians. Aradinkcian is the songwriter, composer, perhaps the most well-known wood player in the world. And all of us from Turkey know him through Ahmet Kaya's Ağladıkça. As you know, there is no better song to really express the feelings we all have over the last week. So the stage is yours, Ara. Dear friends, welcome and thank you for supporting this meaningful event. I am so happy to be here and I feel honored to be in this event and um, playing 
three of my compositions with very great musicians. The first piece is we are going to play with my dear friend and great musician, Arading Chian. The name of the song is Longing. Longing is now, especially after this disaster, in things that many people are going through. is a second piece we are going to play 
a story of migration. The migration is always happening in this world and it is forcing people to leave their lives, their lands, and go and do another adventure for the future. It is not easy. And also, this event created too many migration, and now I feel myself into them playing this piece. And now, Mr. Robert, Robert Levin, the percussion, and Matt Garrity on the bass player. This is four piece, four part, and the first part is why, and the second part is where I am belonging to, and the third part is requiem, and the last part is dance for victory, and dance for happiness, and dance for right, law, and justice, and dance for hak, hukuk, adalet. But if you don't mind, I need a little silence to feel good and express our emotions and the feelings to you guys. Thank you so much.
This is the last piece that this name of this song is Remember. I remember, and the Turkish name is Ardından. I started composing this music three, four months ago, but I finished after this tragic event, event happened, and I am dedicating this song to the all of people or people that who 
lost and who is missing and feeling bad about it, I'm sharing my thoughts with them. Yaşadıklarımız sanki gerçek değil de bir yalan. Oysa her şey ne güzeldi, nasıl da geçiyor zaman. En güzel olan şeyler sadece geride kalan. Ellerin ellerinden kayıp gitti. Ellerin ellerinden kayıp gitti. Yaşanan o güzel anlar Kumsal boyu koşarken Uçuşan beyaz martılar Onlar da anladılar ki Mutlu aşk yoktu Onlar da anladılar ki Mutlu aşk yoktu
Thank you, Ismet. Thank you, Ismet. Uh, we have a lot of people coming from uh, New York, but we have one special person that I want to recognize tonight, my good friend. Janan Da Devran from MIT is here. She came with with with an extra person. <laughs> she is uh, she is. Uh, we are expecting a baby next month. So Janan, thank you for being us tonight. As you all know, she's one of the foremost scientists out of Turkey, and we are very proud of her. Our next artist is a very well known uh, jazz pianist and uh, singer songwriter Ayşe Gül Durakoğlu. She has been widely recognized as a soloist and chamber musician throughout the United States, Europe, Russia, Canada, and Turkey. With a repertoire extending from early Baroque to the 21st century, she was featured as a soloist in the International Istanbul and Ankara Music Festivals with James Galway Asian Festival at Lincoln Center and Jazz Festival in, at Lincoln Center. She is here. Thank you so much for being with us. The stage is yours. Good evening, uh, I'm Ayşe Gül and I'm very honored to be here tonight and for that I'd like to thank uh, Sardar, Mehmet, Tamer, Deniz and the whole drum family to make this important event possible. And I'd like to also uh, thank one more organization that I'm affiliated with, that's the GNEC uh, Global executive committee to the United Nations and uh, their director Patrick Scariata uh, when he heard this event he worked really hard to make this event known throughout the United Nations community. He was going to be here but unfortunately he passed away yesterday and yeah this is our you know very uh, important loss for the United Nations community, but uh, we'll feel his spirit. He, he really uh, put his heart uh, and he was very excited about this event. And yeah, I'll be playing for the memory of him, all the victims from the earthquake and uh, Thank you so much for coming and being here and sharing this important, meaningful event with us. Uh, I will start with a collection of few short pieces by a Turkish contemporary composer, Ulvi Cemal Erkin, and uh, then continue with uh, Argentinian composer, uh, Astor Piazzolla, uh, who wrote this special piece after he lost his father and the title is Adios Noninos, Farewell Children. Uh, the first set of Turkish pieces are titled under uh, the name of Impressions, reflecting the impressions uh, from Anatolian melodies and rhythms. Thank you.
Thank you, Ayşe Güldürakoğlu. Our next artist, actually it's a duo, you know Aradin Cihan, but he will be with Bilge, Bilge Günaydın. She is one of the youngest musicians on stage today, and she has a Spotify page. I am following her, so please go to the Spotify and follow Bilge Günaydın. She is a Turkish jazz pianist, composer, band leader, and an arranger. She started her early education in music at Istanbul University State Conservatory continued her classical piano education here in New York. And she also has a second album that came out of drum band uh, brand. So please follow her and thank you again, Ara, to be here with us today.
Olympia. It's an honor uh, to play with you. <laughs> uh, we played a, a composition from me. It's called uh, Broken Wings in Turkish Kanada Kırık. Uh, I wrote this piece maybe uh, two years ago before coming to US. Uh, and it was in a hard pandemic situation. And this piece was about, uh, about uh, being, uh, living alone. And I felt like uh, for my people, same thing, and I wanted to just play this song. Now uh, we will play Sarı Gelin. It's a, a Turkish song, Turkish anonymous song, folk song. But also it's an Armenian uh, folk song too. And uh, actually this song has, uh, has words in multi different uh, language. Now I will uh, sing in sing it in uh, Turkish and maybe a bit Armenian. And it's so nice uh, to play the song with Ara. Finally, <laughs> sorry, Gelin. Sarı gelin 
melhor da Dintia. Event and uh, we are all thank you, uh, thanks to uh, Drom and thanks to Sardar Ilhan uh, to create this event. Uh, we were all, uh, you know, in deeply uh, sadness. We were all uh, in deeply uh, in anger, and but this uh, this concert uh, makes us a bit uh, getting relief and uh, you know we are musicians and this is the best thing that we can do and uh, we are a bit uh, getting relief while doing this uh, concerts and thanks for being here yeah and please uh, please not for just for uh, tonight please always uh, support uh, uh, uh, my people, my country. Thank you. Now, uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, Bilge. I'm going to say just a couple of words. Uh, first of all, Bilge, uh, beautiful playing, beautiful compositions. I'm so happy we're playing together. Just very quickly, and, and Bilge just kind of touched upon it. When, when these kind of things happen, 
we don't know what to do. And, and we all have something that we can offer. And Serdar called and said, we need your help as musicians. So this is, this is all we have to offer. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, fix the buildings, it doesn't save the life, but maybe it can raise some money and that's why we're here. Every one of us has something we can offer. So you do your part, we'll do our part, and God willing, we can, we can help the situation. Thank you. play last song uh, it's it's a composition from Ara and it's called American Gypsy thanks for being with, with being with us
Thank you so much. Arating Jiam. Thank you, Aura. Thank you, Bill Gear. I want to follow up with what Aura said. She, he said that we all have something to do. So I want to ask you, each one of you here, can I have a moment of silence, please? Each one of you here has something to do for Turkey, for Syria. So I want you to think about that. What can I do for the victims of earthquake? It's not just sending money, which is what you all are doing today. Thank you for that. But I think we can do more. We have connections, we have ideas. Maybe we have dreams for Turkey, for Syria. So this is a moment. Times of crisis is a moment for new ideas. They need our new ideas, and this is the time for you to come up with those ideas, and maybe, maybe your partners to get to the field is here tonight. So share your ideas with people around you, tell them what you want to do to help people, both in Turkey and Syria. Maybe this is the day that you start your dream to be a reality. Thank you. Now we have. So Serdar just reminded me of something that I have forgotten at the beginning. Maybe this is the best time to have a moment of silence for the victims of earthquake in Turkey and Syria for a minute. Thank you all. Now we have two guests who need no introduction. They are both legends from their professions, one from the world of music, the other one from the, the world of movies and uh, TV shows. Fahir Atakoğlu <laughs> and Meltem Jumbo.
Hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Teşekkür ederim. Meltem'le başlamadan evvel ee, bir parçamı çaldım Anadolu diye. Before we start with Meltem, I just played one of my compositions, Anadolu. And I'll play a couple more. Uh, next one I want to uh, play you is one of my compositions that became a song later on. Uh, but uh, Turkish title is Dargın Değilim. So here it is. Sounds good from here. Um, so the third one I'd like to share with you is the melody that I wrote many years ago for the founder of Turkish Republic, Atatürk, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. And it's called uh, Sarı Zeybek. And I want to thank you all for really taking this song to the heart and it became really a symbol of Atatürk. Thank you. It's Sarı Zeybek. Thank you.
invite uh, a very dear friend of mine, Madam Jumbo. Canım ülkem, güzel Türkiye'm. Ağlamamak için herhalde kendimi zor tutuyorum. Ee, gözümden yaş gelirse lütfen beni bağışlayın. Hatta siz de ağlarsanız... Ah, ne diyeceğim bilemiyorum. Uh, my condolences for, for, for, for my country, my beautiful country. We're so sad and and thank God that we're here all together and um, we can share this feeling all together. Um, yeah, 
this way that we can heal. I assume. Ee, herhalde bu yolla ancak iyileşeceğiz, yaralarımızı saracağız hep beraber. Ee, müzikle e, birbirimize sarılarak, sımsıkı sarılarak. Ee, i̇lk parça tabii ki Fahir Atakoğlu'na ait, sözleri Sezen Aksu'ya ait. İkinci parça da Fahir Atakoğlu'nun yine sözleri Sezen Aksu'ya ait. Siz bu şarkıyı tabi çok iyi biliyorsunuz Sertap Erener'den. Selam olsun herkese. <gülüyor> Yüklenip yağsam Dökülsem damla damla toprağıma Bir deli Bir asi rüzgar Olup kavuşsam üzüm bağlarıma bir çiğ tanesi bülbülün çilesi annemin sesi. Teşekkür ederiz. Thank you very much.
are, so it's okay to cry. I think these are the times that we all have to cry, but each drop also has something to say about the sorrow that we feel, the anger that we feel. I think most of us feel anger and sorrow at the same time. And these are the times to convert that feeling into action. So I want to recognize two names, Aysu Ünal and Aslı Öney. If you are here, you can come forward, please. Aysu Ünal and Aslı Öney. These are, this is just an example and she is crying of what I was telling you earlier that what we can do these are two architects in New York. They are professional architects. So two or three days ago, they have started a fundraising event. They took these pieces from art studios in architecture for architectural firms. These are leftovers from a 3D printer and they started selling them in a fundraiser to help Turkish earthquake work victims. And today they sold more than $1,000. I, I don't have the exact figures, but multiple thousand dollars selling these pieces. Each one of us here, like Karsu did in, uh, in uh, Holland, we have talents, we have connections, we have ideas. This is the time that our country needs us. Crying is part of it, and I think we can do more than that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aysu. Thank you, Asla. This will be decades, decades long challenge, struggle. If there was a moment in our history that our country needed us, it is now. We all have responsibility and duty to do something about this crisis in Turkey. Now, as you know, more than me, a lot of people in Turkey cannot do as much as we do for various reasons. Just to give you an idea, I am an academic researcher and I know that my colleagues in Turkey cannot have free speech. They cannot exactly say what they feel or what they think. So they tell me their ideas and I share their ideas here. That's what I do as a researcher, as a teacher. And I think you each have a responsibility to do something similar to that. It's not that difficult. And if you have any ideas, just talk to other people here tonight or tomorrow or the days after. Thank you so much. So next, we have a group we all know and love, New York Gypsy All-Stars. Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. As you can imagine, it's not an easy thing to put on 20 groups in a night. We thank Tom Ed, our engineer. We thank Drome. We thank all of you for your patience. We're going to start the next set. It's going to be a duet between Marius and I. It's a piece that I wrote. Uh, it happens to be, I think, very appropriate to the, the event. The piece is called Even If You Leave.
Thank you, Marius. And now let's let's uh, ask Engin Gunaidin to come on the stage. And Panayotis, uh, what's Panayotis' last name? Panayotis Andreo. going to play another piece of mine. Actually, I wrote it for Elefteri Arvanitaki. It's called Common Spirit, and you could just imagine what it means. Thank you. 
what is the New York Gypsy All-Stars without Ismail Lumanovsky? <laughs> Ismail, are you in the house? Ismail. Gel Yavrum. Ismail Lumanovsky. Thank you. 
All right. You got it.
Thank you so much. So I, I, I wasn't supposed to be here tonight, but um, I came because uh, this event is very, very important for for all of us to, to be able to support and show love for for the victims of this horrific event that happened in, in, in Turkey and Syria. So I feel honored to be here and to share my music with you guys in, in support of this valuable event. Thank you so much. I will be playing tomorrow. I will be playing tomorrow here again. Uh, but I may join my beloved colleagues here again later. Thank you so much. Mr. Ismail Lomanovsky, everybody. So, uh, um, we're gonna play a couple of more songs and we're gonna invite um, a great singer that's uh, visiting from Greece and uh, we're just gonna play some of our songs, beautiful songs. Uh, so welcome on stage, please, Nefeli Fasuli. Thank you very much. I am also very happy to be part of this amazing event and so happy to be able to help even a little bit that amazing goal that people of Jerome set. So I'm also very thankful for all of you being here. Amazing. Thank you so much.
I'm going to sing another song with you, a Greek one. It's a farewell song and it says goodbye to our, to our loves that are gone. So a farewell song for everybody. Oh, 
Smite So we're gonna uh, call one last friend guest again um, I wanna thank Drum for organizing this. We're very happy to be part of this. Um, we're very glad to be here all together. Like somebody said, we're all we have, you know, each other. Um, so now we're going to call back Mr. Ismail Lomanovsky and Mr. Oran Etkin. So we're going to have two clarinets. Um, and that's going to be our last jam. There's more music. Uh, thank you very much.
Thank you, Gypsy All Stars. Thank you, Ismail. You know, some people love what they do. Ismail Nomorovsky is one of them. What? One time I saw him uh, at. Okay, say what are you trying to say? <laughs> so one time I saw Ismail at JFK, just on, you know on the way just to say hi. You could see the energy. It's like hi, hi you know. It's it's good to to have people around who have high energy, especially at times like this. We are going through hard times. I just, you know, I'm going around and I met somebody I want to recognize. Yes, come over here, please. Come over. Yes, come over. I want to exemplify. Okay, come over. So, so we are all trying to do something, right? I, I just share with you some of the experiences of two of the architects who are doing fundraising. Serdar Ilhan is doing fundraising today. We, I'm going to announce the number next time in, a, in like 15 minutes. The number is getting better and better every minute. What's your name? Seçil Çekirdekçi. Now, Seçil Çekirdekçi, try to do something about the Turkish earthquake victims. So she could either send Turkey. Can you just give me like one minute? We are all trying to inspire each other to do something about the earthquake victims in Turkey. We all need creative ideas. And one of my jobs here tonight is to share with you your ideas with others. I shared a couple of ideas earlier. So instead of sending Turkey diapers or you know something for the babies, she did something different. What did you do? So I have contacted all the diaper uh, CEO, uh, the owners of the companies, the CEOs. I have texted them, uh, you know, found them on LinkedIn or, uh, you know, through Instagram. I have contacted everyone and everybody that I could so that I had created an awareness that, you know, that in Turkey, the babies, they really need those diapers or the formulas, especially ready to feed formulas. They were not in Turkey, like there's no factory for them. So, uh, you know, I contacted Similac and family, like all of them. And then, you know, uh, I got great response. They uh, said that, you know, they have um, contacted and then they uh, helped uh, and then they thanked to me, you know. And this really gave me hope, actually. Like, even me as an individual, I, of course, I did my donations. I just bought it set of diapers and sent them but also i wanted to make an awareness even though if the customer service saw that message and donated one dollar that's an awareness for me you know for us so that's how i did my best thank you so much thank you now i'm gonna talk I, i'm gonna follow uh, uh i'm gonna follow somebody who was speaking both turkish and english so I'm going to speak Turkish if it's okay with everyone. Bizim çok sevdiğiniz bir hadis var. Hiç ölmeyecekmişsin gibi bu dünya için, yarın ölecekmişsiniz gibi öbür dünya için çalışın. Türkiye'de hiç seçim olmayacakmış gibi. <gülüyor> Projeleri geliştirin, yarın seçim olacakmış gibi dostlarınızı arayın. Teşekkür ederim. Oh, I forgot my job. Of course. <laughs> so the next the next singer songwriter is is actually an amazing star from Venezuela. She is the 2019 uh, Grammy Award winner for the best new artist. Nella is here for you. Hello, 
<laughs> my name is Nella. This is my friend Cheo here. Let's give it up. We're both from Venezuela and we're very, very happy and honored to be able to be here and to finish this night with a Venezuelan song actually that I'm gonna start with. Um, this is a very special song from my island that I'm from, Margarita Island, uh, and I would love to do it for you. This is La Negratilia. A ti. Al comienzo del día temprano sale la negra tilia con su canasto tejido donde lleva lo de vender. No son las cinco, todavía no hay cielo azul que anuncia la mañana. Rumbo al mercado de por la mar la negrita va. Al comienzo del día temprano sale la negra tilia con su canasto tejido donde lleva lo de vender. No son las cinco aún, todavía no hay cielo azul que anuncia la mañana. Rumbo al mercado de por la mar la negrita va. Franela china de algodón y plumas de nilo, el alcoholado español, los naipes y el mentón. La blusa fina, el gabón y crema de tocador Cuando el sol se aparecido La negra tilia vendió todo Franela china de algodón Y plumas de hilo El alcoholado español Los naipes y el mentol La blusa fina, el gabón y crema de tocador Cuando el sol se aparecido La negra tilia vendió todo la negra tilia vendió todo. La negra tilia vendió Te daré un beso en rumbo sin temor 
Y con la maleta en mano enfrento al mundo sin temor Te lo dije alguna vez que por ti about the place that I come from. Uh, it also... It also describes a little bit the island and and it's called Me Llaman Nela. Sobre el mar de Margarita la luna hoy se ve casi llena Y cerquita de la orilla Sentada espero a que me amanezca Por la calle de mi pueblo Poquito a poco voy caminando La vieja siempre saluda Y yo siempre respondo cantando Pescadores de mi tierra Llenan de flores blancas del puerto Desde la casa de piedra Las velas bailan a contratiempo Y en el medio de la plaza Esa a la que antes siempre jugaba Otro niño que le jueguen Lanzan al aire abanicos de agua Me llaman a la de la voz quebrada pasó la noche en vela cantando coplas de madrugada me llaman de la soy de que me la juego si quieres que te cante vas a tener que robarme un beso Vengo de un mundo tan viejo, nuevo amigo del dolor y el hambre, un mundo tan verdadero, solo para corazones grandes, un mundo de fantasía, sin muros, salto ni falsedad. Donde solo vive gente que busca un trago de libertad. Me llaman Nela, la de la voz quebrada. Pasó la noche en vela cantando copla de madrugada. Me llaman Nela, soy de Canela y fuego. Si quieres que. Te cante, vas a tener que robar. 
Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. This is Cheo. My name is Nella, and thank you so much for making us part of this night. Thank you. Okay, good evening again. So I want to recognize this is the end. We are going to end tonight by recognizing three people. I want to bring Dennis, Mehmet, and Serdar to the stage. Dennis, Mehmet, and Serdar, without whom tonight we could not be possible. And I want to ask Dennis to tell us how much we have raised tonight. Dennis, how much money we have raised tonight? A little bit over $33,000. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, guys, for making this possible. We will be here tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Doors are open. I'm becoming a professional now. Six o'clock, I will be on stage. But I want to remind you once again, if you have money, donate. But more than money, Turkey needs your ideas, your creative juice. Whatever ideas you have, talk to other people. Come together. Develop those ideas. If you need me, anyone here on the stage or anyone else, reach out to them. We really have to get together to help our country. If there is any moment, if there is any moment in the history of Turkey, it is now to save the country, our beloved Turkey. Thank you.